New on Daybreak, with all of the technology available to us now, it's hard to believe that some people use insects to predict the weather and make decisions. This is um, interesting to say the least. KIMT <laughs> Storm Team 3 meteorologist Travis Clark Smith looks into the legend of the woolly bear caterpillar. We meteorologists have a lot of tools available to us to create forecasts and alert you of what's ahead. But there is a legend out there that has been around for generations that some people still subscribe to. The larva of the Isabella tiger moth is more commonly known as the woolly bear caterpillar. It has bands of brown and black, and these bands are what some people use to predict how severe a winter will be. The legend has it that if the brown band is wider, the winter will be milder, and if there's more black than brown, the winter will be more severe. In reality, the reason for the wider brown band is simply age. As the caterpillar gets older, it molts and loses black bands in favor of brown. There really is no scientific evidence to corroborate the legend. For this winter, remember we are in an El Nino pattern, so we are expecting above normal temperatures and equal chances for below, near, or above average precipitation. For KIMT Storm Team 3, this is meteorologist Travis Clark-Smith. And while our meteorologists do not have a colony of woolly bear caterpillars in the Weather Center, they are committed to bringing you the most up-to-date forecasts and information throughout the winter season. What do you think? Ryan and I are having a debate about whether or not the woolly bear caterpillar is cute. I think it's cute and they're safe to handle. Well, I'm glad you found that out. If I see one of those crawling around in my house, you know, even like, I don't know, box elder bugs, all that stuff, just uh, I don't centipedes. I in my house, but well. like in my yard, cute. 